Something we've never seen before. I know this isn't the last of my crew. But this is my last report as the captain. So we're in the midst of this epic expansion in the DCU, thanks to the genius moves of James Gunn. Marvel, of course, is doing its marvelous thing, and the MonsterVerse is bringing us the colossal clash of Godzilla vs. Kong in the new Empire. Exciting times! But hey, what about the Star Trek universe? Well, buckle up, because Star Trek IV is on the horizon, and I've got the lowdown on everything we know about the upcoming movies. Ready for some interstellar adventure? Let's dive in. Paramount Studios seems to be at a crossroads with the next Star Trek movie. The dilemma revolves around whether to proceed with Star Trek IV or take a bold leap with a complete franchise reboot. Star Trek enthusiasts have been eagerly awaiting the fourth installment in J.J. Abrams' Kelvin Timeline series, but the project has faced numerous setbacks and changing directors. Despite recent reassurances that Star Trek IV is still on the tracks, there are rumors swirling about a potential reboot. The seven-year gap since Star Trek Beyond might seem substantial, but successful sequels like Top Gun Maverick prove that time isn't a barrier to cinematic success. Attempting a reboot within such a short time frame has a dubious track record, as seen with the Amazing Spider-Man series and the ill-fated Fantastic Four movie. Surprisingly, even with Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto expressing their eagerness to return, Paramount seems to be considering a reboot over a direct sequel. A reboot raises questions about the storyline. Star Trek Strange New Worlds has already delved into the early years of Kirk, Spock, and the USS Enterprise NC-1701, making it challenging to revisit their origins. Recasting iconic roles like Captain Kirk adds immense pressure on the chosen actor, competing not only with William Shatner, but also with the established portrayals of Chris Pine and Paul Wesley. Alternatively, a sequel led by Chris Pine in Star Trek IV could explore the aging crew's reflections on their legacy, drawing inspiration from the David Marcus plot in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. The intruders are taking them. Captain, we are caught in the planet's gravity. We cannot pull away. Ultimately, the potential of J.J. Abrams' Star Trek cast remains untapped, making the prospect of a franchise reset unsettling for fans who believe there's more to explore with the existing characters. The decision between a sequel and a reboot holds significant implications for the future of the Star Trek cinematic universe. As Paramount Studios shifts its focus back to the next Star Trek movie, a crucial question looms. Should they proceed with Star Trek IV or opt for a complete franchise reboot? The long-delayed fourth installment in J.J. Abrams' Kelvin Timeline series has faced numerous hurdles, cycling through notable directors like Quentin Tarantino, Matt Shackman, and Noah Hawley. Even after writer-director Lindsay Anderson Beer reassured fans that Star Trek IV is still on the tracks, recent reports hint at the possibility of a reboot. However, this rumored reboot could potentially be a misunderstanding. With seven years passing since Star Trek Beyond, there's speculation that the upcoming movie might be a soft reboot, preserving the original cast while detaching from the explicit ties to the Kelvin timeline continuity. This approach would be welcomed by fans eager to see more adventures with Chris Pine and the Kelvin timeline crew. On the contrary, a hard reboot signals Paramount's intent to explore new frontiers, potentially bidding farewell to the Kelvin timeline for good. Despite the considerable time gaps in Star Trek Beyond, the success of Top Gun Maverick, a sequel to a 36-year-old film, showcases that sequels can thrive regardless of the years between releases. Rebooting a franchise within a decade, as witnessed in Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man and Josh Trank's ill-fated Fantastic Four, has historically proven challenging. Strikingly, even with expressed interest from Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto in reprising their roles, Paramount appears inclined towards a reboot rather than a direct sequel. The perplexity lies in the studio's hesitancy to recognize Star Trek IV as a viable option, despite the enthusiasm of the cast and a dedicated fan base. While a hard reboot relies on existing Star Trek fans turning up at theaters, it might face difficulties appealing to a broader audience. 
Armed with a well-established movie franchise, an eager cast, and a demonstrated audience interest, Star Trek IV seems poised to be the logical next step. Considering the limitations imposed by Star Trek Strange New Worlds, a reboot cannot center around Kirk, Spock, and the original USS Enterprise NC-1701 crew. Recasting Captain Kirk's iconic role poses a significant challenge for any actor, given the comparisons with William Shatner, Chris Pine, and Paul Wesley. Alternatively, a Star Trek reboot should explore untold stories within the broader canon, such as the Earth-Romulan War or the Cardassian Border Wars, featuring a new starship crewed by Hollywood stars. On the flip side, a Star Trek IV led by Chris Pine could provide closure to his character's arc, focusing on the aging crew of Kirk's Enterprise as they contemplate their legacy. Revisiting the David Marcus plot from Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan could offer a poignant resolution to Chris Pine's Kirk and his father issues. The potential within J.J. Abrams' Star Trek cast is palpable, making the prospect of a franchise reset all the more disconcerting. The decision between a reboot and a sequel carries profound implications for the future trajectory of the Star Trek cinematic universe. Nicolas Cage's enthusiasm for joining the Star Trek universe remains unabated, as he recently disclosed details about talks regarding his potential involvement in J.J. Abrams' Star Trek IV. Cage, a lifelong Star Trek fan, expressed his disinterest in the Star Wars franchise last year, capturing headlines with his passion for the iconic sci-fi series. The prospect of Cage sharing the screen with Chris Pine's Captain James T. Kirk and Zachary Quinto's Mr. Spock in Star Trek IV generated considerable excitement. However, the movie continues to face challenges in development. Despite recent reports of Abrams' continued efforts to make it the final chapter of the Kelvin Timeline's USS Enterprise crew. In an interview with Screen Rant on the red carpet of the 51st Annual Saturn Awards, where he received the Best Supporting Film Actor trophy for his role as Dracula in Renfield, Cage shed light on the discussions surrounding his potential involvement in the next Star Trek installment. The celebrated actor outlined his conditions for joining the project, emphasizing his desire to step onto the USS Enterprise and contribute his distinctive flair. Cage stated that he would need to see a script that allows him to add his pop and spark to the role. His love for the franchise was evident, as he expressed a preference for being on the bridge rather than floating in space on a satellite. Although Cage admitted to engaging in a couple of phone calls about the project, he highlighted that he had not seen a script for Star Trek IV. Despite this, Cage articulated specific criteria that would compel him to sign on, underscoring his commitment to the iconic Starship Enterprise. Recognized for his enduring popularity and respected by audiences, Cage's resurgence in his career could significantly enhance the marquee value of Star Trek IV. However, the success of this potential collaboration hinges on the direction the film takes, considering the challenges it has faced including filmmaker departures due to creative differences. Notably, another Star Trek movie, described as an origin story set decades before J.J. Abrams' Star Trek 2009, is reportedly in development, with director Toby Haynes and writer Seth Graham Smith attached to the project. The extent to which Nicolas Cage would be open to beaming onto another Starship Enterprise and appearing in Star Trek Strange New Worlds remains uncertain. While Cage may be inclined towards feature films, the popularity and acclaim of Strange New Worlds, embodying the core values and fun of the Star Trek franchise, could present an intriguing opportunity. Regardless, the Star Trek franchise would be remiss not to capitalize on the interest of a major movie star like Nicolas Cage, who genuinely desires to explore the final frontier. That's all for today's chat about Star Trek IV, everyone. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more cool Star Trek news. Let us know in the comments on what you like the most. Thanks for hanging out and see you in the next one.